We have made an absolute mess of our apartment. We moved things around. We finally hung up our TV. My husband is now moving it because we are finally setting up a Christmas tree. Got anything to say? Ha! <laughs> Okay. So yeah, we moved the couch. Our couch was originally kind of more towards that way. And now we have shifted it all the way over up against our two windows. So they're a little bit more... Sorry, that was really bad camera angle. It's more shifted to the left. And now our L part of our couch is on the left-hand side instead of the right-hand side. So it may look a little odd, but honestly, I kind of like it because then we have this little space that my husband has covered with the pillow, oopsies, um, right here. And we can actually put like a nice tray or something here so that way we don't have to, you know, try to find something to balance our stuff. I, I don't know if we're going to do that, but it's a way, it's something, who knows. But yeah, so we're going to set up the Christmas tree now. I don't know what my husband's doing. He's microwaving some stuff, making a ruckus. Um, we also took down my dog's kennel as well. Um, we had it up for some odd reason. It was for a specific reason, and then we took it down because I don't think we are going to end up keeping the kennel there. We were going to keep it there so that he can have a safe space. It was thought that my husband and I will be out a lot longer and he may need like a safe space, but it's not needed. He doesn't use it as much anyways. He's like in there probably like only 10% of the day. Um, he loves our front door over here. He likes to lay over in this little general area. So we realize there's really no point in having the kennel out since he doesn't really lay in it. So yeah, we ended up uh, breaking it down and putting it back in storage. So. We have it there in case we need to bring it back out and need to have him in a kennel for some odd reason. I think my husband's making food. And he's not going to make me any. How rude. No, I'm just kidding. Um, but yeah, so that is that's pretty much what we're doing. Sir, why don't you set down the tree instead of trying to put it up mid-air? <laughs> why? Do you not see what that thing is there? That thing is our dog! <laughs> Tigger, come on! Come on! Come on, Tigger! Move! Please move! <laughs> He's like, excuse me? No! <laughs> Hello? He's like, I'm confused. What are you guys doing? Oh. <laughs> Your dad's trying to put up a tree. Come on. Do we have treats? Let me go find you your treat. I found his treat. Again, sorry for the mess. Oh, look who has arrived. Yeah? You've arrived. Okay, let me pause this. I need both hands. Okay, I got his treat. If I can grab it. Alrighty. Okay, Tigger. Give me paw. Not eat my hand. Good boy. Here you go. Oh, we dropped one. Ugh, our house is a mess. It is such a mess. All right. My husband's putting up our tiny tree. Perfect. It's good to go. <laughs> what is this? Sir! <laughs> <laughs> no effort! <laughs> our poor hey, tree. Hey. I had to put the tree on top of our dog. <laughs> okay. There we go. Oh, oh, I got a cramp on my foot. <laughs> okay. Oh, yes, that's right. We're going to have to, this one doesn't fall nicely. Like the, the bottom. Alrighty. I'm going to go and set this up and I'll show you guys the end result. So here is the before <laughs> for a lovely tree and a nice electric skillet. My husband's changing the lights, our LED lights up here. But yeah, so here is the before of our tree. 
here is our tree it's a simple tree this year we're not doing anything fancy i tried putting on the garland and i absolutely hate it i think we need a bigger tree for this so very simple um so my husband is a vikings fan so we got a vikings christmas ornament this is a barnes and nobles uh ornament he got a while while back forgot where he got it i think you got it out of state no no we got no? that together at barnes and nobles oh nice and then this one is a very, very old ornament that he got. This one you got when you were out of state, no? No, but that was the first ornament I got by myself. That was actually like, that ornament is probably like 13 years old. There we go. And then my husband's favorite movie is the Polar Express. So we got the bell. Favorite holiday movie. That's what I meant. <laughs> and we also have this one right over here. It's really nice. And then obviously we have the extra little decorations here this one is a gift from our friend so yes and then this is my husband's uh favorite it's right favorite favorite uh character that plays the green ranger my favorite ranger is when he plays the white ranger but this is also a tribute because jason david frank the one who played tommy he passed away this year yeah yeah we well didn't he pass away last year i don't remember this one we got away. it the year he passed I remember that as a tribute. And then we got this one because the Arizona Cardinals was the first football um, game that I attended. So we got that to commemorate that. And then U of A because this is the nursing school my husband graduated from. And then I'm a Chargers fan. So we got an ornament for the Chargers as well. Um, I think this one says Chargers, San Diego Chargers on it. No, I don't, I don't think it does. So there's that one, and then we have the year, um, every year that my husband and I have been together. So 2017, here's 2018, now I gotta find 2019, here's 2019, and then I think 2020 is somewhere over here, here's 2020, and then 2021, it's right over here, and then 2022, and we still need to get 2023. So that's all the ornaments that are on our Christmas tree. We actually have a lot more ornaments, but they're way too heavy to put on our Christmas tree. So we decided that uh, next time we might get a different Christmas tree that's a little bit more sturdy because we got this one when it was on sale. So yeah, but... Our Christmas tree is finally up. It's kind of late into December, but yeah. And now my husband is going to hang up our door wreath. It's very pretty. Pretty? I said that really weird. Pretty. Um, so that's going up. And then <laughs> I got this cute little snowman, so my husband put it right over there. Um, and that's so far what we've done for decoration. We're going to do a little bit more, not too much, and we're probably going to have them up until January since we had them decorated so late. Also, if you're hearing that in the background, I don't know what my husband is playing, uh, but he has a show randomly playing. Um, but we got pizza, so I'm going to go eat the pizza, which I have no idea where my husband put the pizza boxes. Oh, they're in the kitchen. So I'm going to do that. So, yeah. Alrighty, so it's Saturday. I am getting ready to go get some water. However, my dog is currently blocking the door. Here he is, just blocking the door. He's not letting me out. I need you to move, honey. I need to, to get out. <laughs> Can you move? No, no. Finally got him to move. <laughs> He's not happy about it. Not at all. Yes, our apartment is still a mess. I'm going to clean that up today. But first, I need to get water. All 
Alrighty, so I'm back in my car. I got my water gallons filled up. I also went to the grocery store nearby to grab some Starbucks. I wanted to use up the rest of my Starbucks gift card because I had a few bucks left of it and I just want to get rid of it. That way it's done and over with and I don't have any more Starbucks gift card because I am no longer really supporting Starbucks. After everything with Starbucks and their workers and now with this issue that it's you know I'm not gonna talk about it cuz yeah don't want to really get into the political stuff but I just don't really want to support them and so I am trying to just use up all my Starbucks gift card that I have and also I found another coffee shop that I love and I enjoy their coffee and I love going there so that's the place that I'm gonna really support and so that's what I'm gonna do but anyways I was also supposed to send off a package to the UPS store but my husband forgot to give me our friend's address to ship that package and the envelope that I have with her address on there I cannot find so that is going to be a tomorrow thing anyways I'm gonna actually head home now because I'm getting really annoyed with all the people that is just staring at me it's getting really frustrating and I don't know why but they're just like staring at me I understand I'm recording off my phone I get it it's weird stop staring it's really rude anyways um, I'm going to head home now. You know, trying to lift up five gallons and two three gallons of water with your dog who's excited for you to come home was quite a hassle, actually. Try not to step on him. Yeah, you were in the way, you know that? Yeah, I know you're excited to see me. He's a cutie, but tootie. Anyways, I'm home now. So I think I'm gonna chill, probably clean up my apartment. Also probably try to get the rest of my lashes off. Uh, I haven't been able to schedule an appointment. I've actually been lazy and haven't reached out, but I have been having really bad allergies and my eyes are in so much pain that like, I don't know if I want to go get more lashes done and just give my eyeballs a break. But yeah, I am so out of breath. <laughs> Um, so I'm going to relax and then get some water, chill for a bit, hang out with my dog, and then organize my apartment. I don't feel like reading. I haven't been in a reading mood. I just been going through some shit that, I don't know, I don't know if it's because I am so exhausted from how busy my job has been, or I'm just so burnt out that I'm just like, I don't want to do anything but just relax. So it could be a combination of both for sure. I do need like a long vacation and I think I might do that. I might take like a week off next year. I've never done that where I took like a full week off of just not working. So I might do that. We will see, but I'm not 100% sure. So yeah, that's pretty much what's been going on. I actually haven't been filming anything at all. I also haven't sat down and edit either, which... I need to either do that today or tomorrow, but if I'm cleaning today, I'll probably do that tomorrow. We will see what my plans are, but honestly, I just kind of want to relax and not do something that I feel like is going to stress me out, so I'm doing kind of just a, a self-care me day. Progress. This area is done. I still got all of this, but it is progress. All right, so I'm making some progress. It is looking so clean and it is very open. I love this. And there is the doggo. Also, this basket I was originally going to get rid of because it was originally my blanket holder. But now we're putting all the blankets there. And I decided I will use it as a shoe basket. So to throw all the extra shoes that are in here that wouldn't fit on this shelf right over here. Which I also need to organize. But that is a project for another day. And these are being moved elsewhere. They're just there for now. And so this is the progress that I have. Also, if you see this over here, this is my husband's project. I was going to organize this, but he said he still needs to rework the wires and stuff. So I don't want to move things around and organize it. And then everything has to be moved again. So I'm going to wait until he finishes this project before I tackle the shelves down here. So this is all looking so nice until you get to 
over here. <laughs> it is a hot mess. There is no walking room whatsoever, but I am working on it. I am trying to find places for stuff that are over here to fit over here. And if I can't find a place to fit the items over here, then the items that I can't fit will go into a maybe pile. And then when my husband comes home, him and I are going to decide whether or not we are going to keep it or move it somewhere else. So that is the current plan. I am super happy about how everything is turning out. It looks so cozy over here. And you know that tray that I was telling you guys about that I wanted to add? This is what I meant. So I wanted to add a tray in between our two couches so that it can hold the remote control, headphones, and the PlayStation controllers because there's a plug back there that we can charge our um, stuff so that way it is in arm's reach because originally we had it on the media stand and it was just kind of a hassle to walk back and forth so now that it is right there on the couch and near the charging port we can just charge it and then use it while we're on the couch and not have to get up while we're comfy so i'm trying to make it to where it is convenient for my husband and i because we are kind of lazy from time to time um so yeah but that is so far what i've had done i know it's not a lot but what really took a lot of time was kind of just um, wiping down, clearing out the dust and stuff, and then vacuuming, and as well as doing laundry. So I was doing all that. I also needed a break because I was getting a massive headache, and I did not have enough food in me, so I also had to eat. So that was the reason why it took a while as well. But now I am going to take my dog on his walk because it is 5 o'clock, and that is his walking time. So I'm going to go and do that. Alrighty, so it is close to 7.20. I have been cleaning my apartment after I finished walking my dog. So I wanted to show you guys my progress and what I've gotten done so far. So you guys have seen this area. So I have moved the doggy bed over here. This is actually going to be shifted over here once we move this back to the garage. And this table is going to move right over there. That way we have a spare table to eat off of or to have a laptop or something whatever it's used for. Those items I'm still trying to find a spot for, I just don't know where to put them yet. And finally, this area, the area that I have finally cleaned, so it is more open now. I still have the kitchen that I need to tackle, but that is for a tomorrow task because the kitchen is a very overwhelming task for me and I'm not gonna do that tonight after doing all this area, so yeah. There is the doggo. He is so confused because he has his bed moved around so much so he doesn't know where his bed's going to be at but it's going to be there for now so he can lay in it. He's really tired. Yeah, are you tired? Yeah, you don't like the vacuum cleaner, huh? It's very overwhelming. So that is my progress so far. I think I did a great job at tackling the apartment. It was definitely a big mess and it was very overwhelming and I'm glad that I ended up getting most of it done today though I still have the bedroom, well not the bedroom, the office and the kitchen that I still need to do and I still need to edit my video so I think I'm going to take a break from cleaning for today and actually sit down and edit my video because I am so behind and when I say so behind I have not started editing at all and I have to move all the footage that I have off of my camera onto my desktop so that way I can start editing those. So I have a lot of work I need to do, but I am going to take a break because I'm exhausted, hungry, and tired. And I think my doggo also wants to eat as well. So I'm gonna do that. Alrighty, so it's Sunday. Excuse how I look. I have been sitting at my desk all day today editing. Literally, I was having such a hard time editing my video today. My editing software was just being so finicky and so frustrating. Every time I made any little changes, my editing software would freeze. I tried to reset the software, I tried to reset my computer, it, nothing was working. And every time I made one minute change, it would freeze and I have to wait for the, uh, the uh, software to 
uh, update itself for it to even like process the change. So it took me all day today. So I didn't even do much today. I still also need to do the thumbnail. So I'm hoping my Photoshop is not going to do the same thing as my editing software because that is going to be so annoying. So I need to do that. So that is so far my Sunday. It's been very frustrating, but I think I'm going to hop into the shower and I might actually do some reading. I'm not too sure. So I am still currently in the middle of Blood and Honey. I haven't made much progress in the book because I have been so busy and a lot has been going on. So I haven't done any reading at all, actually. So I need to get back into that. But like I said, I think I talked to you guys about it yesterday. I just been feeling so burnt out and just a little bit kind of under the weather maybe I don't know what it is but there's just been a lot going on and it's been exhausting good morning so it's been a few days since I have updated you guys it is currently Wednesday I think the last time I updated you guys was Sunday I want to say but not a hundred percent sure but I'm pretty sure it's Sunday and the reason for that is because as of late, I have been feeling so burnt out because of my job. I literally go to and from work and then by the time I get home, I'm so exhausted that I legit don't want to do anything besides sleep. And I don't know if it's because this month is unusually so busy or I just really need a vacation. Honestly, it's probably both and I'm trying to give myself some grace on just you know taking it easy I really haven't been taking care of myself like I should be I have relaxed on my skincare my hair care like on majority of things and legit sometimes I only eat like one meal a day and then go to sleep so I'm definitely like kind of letting myself go at the moment and I do have to get back on routine I just it's just been so exhausting my drive to and from work has been very stressful it has been unusually very busy and I just assume because it's closer to the holidays there's a lot of people visiting family and my state has had an influx of people coming in so my drive that is normally an hour is now at least an hour to 15 minutes to an hour and 30 minutes and it's just been so exhausting to have to drive that long in the mornings and then especially after work as well on a busy day because now my commute is at least two and a half to three hours every day now and I just feel so burnt out and honestly if you don't drive that much it can be very exhausting to drive so much so I also think that's a contribute as to why I don't feel like doing anything because I sit in the car for so long and then by the time I get home I don't have the urge to go out because I have to be back in my car and I love my car I love being in it I love driving it but it's just driving in the type of traffic that I have here at my state is exhausting and just being so hyper vigilant because of how bad people drive here is just a lot it takes a lot because you're fully concentrated on like everybody on the road and just the road in general and on top of that there's constructions and lane changes and it's just a lot going on so I also think that's a contribute as to why I've been feeling so burnt out is mainly that additional half an hour to an hour on top of my everyday work day that I just feel like I am not used to it yet and my body hasn't adapted and on top of that, it is super cold, and I am not the type of person that likes the cold, so it that doesn't help either. But I do have to say, today, my friend who came to visit on Monday is coming back from hanging out with his friend in a different city. Is coming back today. I think him, myself, and my husband are going to go see a movie, and I want to say it's Godzilla, but I can't be 100% sure. I'm, I, I will let you guys know what the plans are and then he either might leave Wednesday night or Thursday morning and then Thursday night another friend of ours is flying in and this will be the first time he'll be here in our state so we're going to be showing him around so I most likely will have more updates and footage for Thursday, Friday, Saturday because um, this friend of ours has never been here so we're going to try to show him places and bring him to places that we enjoy and that he might enjoy so yeah 
though we don't have a lot to do here in my state. It's a very boring state. It only recently have we got some new stores and stuff that has been coming in, but our state is pretty boring. There isn't a lot to do. And the number one thing that really a lot of people do here in my state is hiking. So yeah. And as you guys know, I am not a nature person. Um, and that is because I have the worst allergy in the world. And uh, literally nature tries to kill me because I'm allergic to every tree. So yeah. <laughs> Anyways, I am going to head into work now um, because I am expecting a caterer to come in around 8 o'clock for my job and it is close to 7.20. So I need to go get in and get ready to greet them. So yeah. Alrighty, I'm home now. My hair has collapsed. Um, I didn't show you guys my outfit, so I'm going to show you guys my outfit. I don't have my shoes. I accidentally left them in the car, so you're not going to see my little heels, but I will show you guys my dress. Here is my dress. It's super cute. I love it. Uh, didn't have an ugly sweater, so this is my best holiday dress, so yeah. Also, I don't know if we are going to go to the movies since I got home so late. Right now, my friend and my husband is running errands. So that's what they're doing. I ended up getting out super, super late. So really, um, it was unexpected. I should have known that I was going to get out late because it was our holiday party. And I usually don't get out early like I normally do when it's our holiday party. So I got off pretty late. But traffic, yes, was horrible. But it wasn't bad. I ended up getting home close to around an hour instead of an hour and 30 minutes or two hours like normal. If you hear that, that is the doggo. He is um, really enjoying his bus scratches, I guess. Yeah? Yeah, what's up? You want to come on? No? Okay. Yeah, so I don't know what the plans are. We will see. But I'm going to go cuddle with my doggo because... He seems like he wants some attention, so I'm going to do that. But that is pretty much my day. Uh, but I also have some footage of the decorations uh, for my holiday party, so here are some of the pictures for it. It's really pretty, so yeah. Alrighty, so we decided that we we're going to actually go see the movie. It's not going to be matinee, so we're going to go see it at regular full price, which is really expensive still, but hey, that is the price. I'm going to my car so I can grab my shoes because I'm going to actually wear my heels with my outfit because I don't have anything else to match it. I have a bag stuck to it. These are my heels. I love them. They're so cute. Um, so, yeah. So we're going to go see the movie. I'm super excited because I'm actually going to get food. That's the reason. I don't really care for the movie, but I'm going with my friends and my husband. But I get food. So, yay. That's my friend, by the way. This is for my YouTube channel. Mm. But yeah, I'm not a big Godzilla fan, so I'm not gonna rate it. Ooh, that is chilly. But yeah, so they enjoyed the movie. So yeah, it was all in Japanese, so I actually had to pay attention. So yeah. It was a really good Godzilla movie. I'm not gonna give it a 10 out of 10 just because my movie's perfect, but that's probably the best Godzilla movie I've seen in a while. <laughs> so the director Agreed? did a great job with that movie. What is it? Like? It's Godzilla. got the emotions. It's got the action scenes. There's no it's part that was boring. It's got the funny parts because I got admit I got I laughed in some some of the faces that they were making. <laughs> yes. it's got Hulk, yeah, it's Godzilla, yeah, yeah, it's Godzilla. Yeah, like oh, like right. I as Godzilla. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Alrighty, so that's their thought. We're gonna head home now because it's cold. Alrighty, so we're back home now. I am hanging out in the bedroom 
we are about to head to bed because we are all tired. I have to wake up early for work and so does my husband and then our friend actually has to head back because he has work later in the afternoon so he has to be sure he's back in his town so that way he's able to make it to work on time. Here is the doggo. Yeah. Oh, 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 you're eating my hair. Sir. Say hello. Hi. I love you too. <laughs> he's so cuddly. As of late, I don't know what it is, but he's very, very cuddly. And he likes to eat my hair. Yeah. Alrighty, that's him telling me he wants some belly rubs and some scratches. So I'm going to give that to him and then head to bed. Yeah? Yeah? <laughs> okay. Okay. I think he's happy with his scratches. Yeah? Is that your pillow? Oh, oh, I think he's leaving. Okay. Good morning. It is Friday. I haven't updated you guys since Wednesday. Thursday was a busy day and so I just didn't have a chance to film. But it is Friday. Our friend that we went to the movies with had left Thursday morning and our other friend is here. He arrived Thursday night. So I don't know what the plans are for today, but I do have my morning coffee. My husband bought me these nice new TikTok glasses. I always see these on TikTok, so love them. It does have a cap, but um, I poured it a little too high and I don't want the wooden cap to get really dirty. So yeah, I uh, gotta learn to find my measurement for this size cup and then um, be able to use this without getting the wood all nasty. So. Yeah, also if you're wondering why I'm whispering, it's because our friend and my husband are asleep and I don't want to wake him up, so sorry if you can't hear me, uh, I do apologize for that, but yeah, so I'm going to work on some editing and once I get that done, I, um, I think they might be awake, they may want to go to breakfast or something, so we will see. But yeah, that is the update so far. Not much reading has been done, so this is more going to be a weekly vlog instead of a reading weekly vlog because I just haven't done any reading at all. Let me do that because my computer is shutting off on me, so yeah. But that is the plan. Okay, okay. That is the plan for today so far. Alrighty, so everyone is still asleep and I'm currently cleaning my desk so I decided that it's time I finally build my rolling cart. Here it is. I purchased this I want to say like almost three weeks ago and I still haven't built it so it's time. Alrighty, so my dog is not the brightest. As you can hear him, he is currently eating and um, he's making a mess on the ground but uh, yeah. So I decided to move him into the office to eat because as you can hear he's very loud and our friend is still sleeping outside so yeah. Yeah? Okay. You're making a mess. Sir, okay. It's so gross on the ground right now. Anyways, I'm gonna start building my cart right here. So. I'm gonna film the process and let's see how that goes. I'm not a handy person, so yeah, you saw me try to build my little laptop um, desk tray and I struggled, so am I gonna struggle here? Yes. Uh, also, my dog just somehow spat all over my cart, so hello. Yeah, there, there's stuff on the ground. Here. Right there. So comfortable. And no one seems to hold me like you do. Mm. You're so wonderful. A star could never shine as bright as you. Mm. 
they still see light Even the birds still sing at night Every word just comes out right When I'm with you, with you I feel so lucky I met you And I still um, can't believe that I get to See those eyes from more than tonight I swear you must have fell from the sky And I feel um, so lucky I met you It's not logical The way I feel when you walk in the room It's not optional. It's not optional. How gravity just pulls me right to you. To you. Mm -mm. Even the dark, they still see light. Even the birds still sing at night. Every word just comes out right. When I'm with you, with you, I feel so lucky I met you. And I still. Can't believe that I get to see those eyes from more than tonight. Swear you must have fell from the sky, and I feel mm, so lucky I met you. Spent my whole life waiting for someone like you, baby. And all these broken roses led to you. Spent my whole life waiting for someone like you, baby. And all these broken roses led to you. So lucky I met you and I still can't believe that I get to see those eyes from more than tonight. Swear you must have fell from the sky and I feel so lucky I met you. Thank you. So we just finished at the mall. There's our friend. I will link his um, Twitch down in the uh, in the description. He, he does Twitch. My husband's driving. We just finished at the mall. We took him to the mall on our state. So, yeah. I will show you guys the haul later when we get home. Because we still gotta go to the grocery store. But we're gonna swing by his mom's place real quick to take a break. So, that is what we're gonna do. We spent an hour at the mall. And my feeties hurt. What was your rating of the mall? Uh, it's an eight. Right? Mm. He hates this mall. Wow. Oh, I know. I love this mall. <laughs> He hates the mall. I, 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 I hate he puts the mall. an H in front of the A. <laughs> I, I, I put in capital L with this mall. I love this mall. Okay. I hate every other mall. <laughs> Alrighty. Right, I'm just gonna go. So, I'll talk to you guys later. Alrighty, so we're chilling at my husband's mom's place. We got these cute little blind boxes. You can't see my friend, but there they are. I don't have my tripod, so you're not gonna see our faces as much, but we're gonna open it. So. This is our friend Naku's flying box. There's, there's my husband. There's All right. The camera angle. It ain't it. We'll just deal with it. <laughs> All, right. It. All right. All right. You go so, first since you have two. Okay. True. Can you just come over here, sir, and stop acting weird? All right. This is the so, Winnie the Pooh one. Which one did you want to get? That I want to get? Yeah. So I mean, I wouldn't mind any of the Poohs. Here's all the options. So. Yes. So like definitely this poo. I would prefer a honey poo. Than a pot. <laughs> oh, you prefer a honey poo? Huh? Yeah, honey poo. <laughs> Put on That's honey a good name to draw some. Okay. Yeah, I still don't mind piglet, and you are still pretty cool. This is a very interesting box. Okay, nice, nice. Still clean. <laughs> That's still a mystery. You'll never know. <laughs> Man! Oh, wow! Wow! I think but we, uh, I think we paid ten bucks. Did you? Uh, oh! Shit! Does it tear? I think you might have gotten tear. Point of it's not tear. Right. <laughs> it's right. magic. Oh, it's not. I don't think it is. Uh -huh. Oh, it is. <laughs> I told you I told it. Oh, oh my much. God! It's so See, cute. See now you believe me and I'm lucky, huh? Yeah, don't set foot that late. I'm not saying okay. that late. You, you're going to have to respawn very fast. So there's yeah. that one. All right. So do you want me to open next or you want to open it? Okay. So I got this one. It's the year the pig kind of... I'll get that. I dropped my purse. Um, here are the options. There's two mysteries. Naku's picking up my purse because he's a gentleman. So yeah. All right. Let me open this. How do I... Oh. 
Luckily, I don't have nails, so that was nice. My mom usually yells at me to tell me not to wear, to use my nails as tools, but how am I supposed to look in this? Excuse me. Hello? I'm struggling. Do you want some assistance or are you just going to... No. I'm a no. struggle. No, you <laughs> struggle for the fans. <laughs> yes. All right. Sad that the box got destroyed, but that's okay. Oh. Okay, that one pops up much more. Nice. I got this one. Ooh. It's so cute. <laughs> that is very nice. There's a big ass silicone gel packet. No, but this may need it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, see, that wasn't my fault. That was the juice bar maker's. Okay. That was the juice bar maker. Oh, it comes with like this really thick... Air freshener. Oh, that is an air freshener. That's right. I wonder what the smell is. I can't smell through the packet. Mango. Mango? Mango? I don't know. Chinese. <laughs> oh. I think Gorgeous. I broke it. Wow. I can't Just get got it, it and broke it. Yeah. Hold on. It, it can go back on. If not, I can always glue it. <laughs> Bricks. I don't know if it's gonna stay, and no. I don't really know. It's right here on this side. Uh, so well, that ring part is on this side. It's on this side. Yeah. Oh, there it is. Oh, there's stuff in it. Yeah, I remember it's got the beads in it. For what reason? I don't know. They, I thought it was like perfume beads or something. I don't know. It is not going in. That's what she said. <laughs> oh my. Um. It really isn't. All right, well, I made an effort, so here's the piggy. Good old cute piggy. Yes. All right, that's mine. So, you're next. Yeah, is that one yeah. yours? Yeah. Okay. They got two of the same ones. So this here's... one is called Nyakashi, and he can show you what's on the box. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, there you go. And then there's three mysteries. Yeah. Okay. It is a Kagnichiwa. <laughs> it's like a green tea box. That's, that's what I like about it. At least you can save the box. I cannot. True. The inside is so cute. And you just well, I mean. Well, the top part I can get rid of, but like the oh my god, the inside is so cute. It's bathing. <laughs> I I don't think I can show you guys. Look at it. It's bathing. <laughs> Okay. Mm. I have entertained y'all. Don't know what this is. It's a card. It's a so, QR code card. So. Oh man, you you could easily know what it is if you scan the QR code. Apparently, there's multiple parts to it. Okay. Oh, you gotta set it up. Oh goodness. Oh, oh, it's a cute, it's a cute box. Oh, let's see what this is. How about that? So that will tell us which one it is, right? No, I don't think so. How long it was smell? I got the Sakuyan Nyachi, whatever. The one that looks like a Mew. It does look like a squashed Mew. I honestly don't even know which one I, I don't know which one I wanted. I don't know. Let's see. Now it's like my turn. <laughs> like, I want to know if I got that clear one. Yeah, it's inside this. <laughs> Little thing. Oh, wait, wait. Oh, hi. <laughs> there we go. There's the box. The good old box. The good old box. So fancy. Try to do this without. Oh, you got another blind box. I didn't know that. <laughs> got this one. So my husband will open this one up next. Trying to do this without ruining the box. Of course, <laughs> the hard part. Oh no, no, never mind. The longer it takes you to try to open it, the more of a damage you'll do. Just pop it open with one go. Put your finger in the middle and slide it left and right. <laughs> yeah, no. <laughs> it, it, it don't work like that. It don't work like that at all. Okay. Okay, so same QR code. The QR code. The fancy QR code. You so can open that and figure out what you got, or actually surprise yourself. Just surprise yourself, because I didn't know what that was. So. <laughs> just shake it real hard. Unless it's the one you want. Oh, oh. Something. Hey, I got you this one. This is the one you want. <laughs> See? Oh, it has a little stand as well for it. That's cute. Yeah. There we go. You can see the little stand. Oh, it's is it sleeping? Or is his eyes are just squinted? I don't know. It's a flan. It's a flan. It's so cute. <laughs> he jiggles. It jiggles. Jiggles. All right. There's that one. And then here's this one. Oh, here. I, I didn't show it. It's a Sailor Moon theme. 
I, I don't know. It's, it has the sailor, all this four outer sailor Yeah, scouts. you wanted this one, right? No. Yeah, I wanted Uranus. Uranus? That was right. No, yeah, oh. that's Neptune. Uranus right next to it. Oh, here we go. <laughs> this one. This is the one he wants. That's his favorite sailor scout. Oh, yeah. Since, oh, you <laughs> Yeah, since since I might be pulling yours every time, yeah, I bought one. That's why I'm saying too. I like, only got one blind box. Everybody I'm, else. This... I told him if he gets Pluto, he can set it up to you. True. Pluto is my favorite. Oh, you didn't open your the, the flan card. <laughs> the flan card. But it's this. <laughs> I got your anus. Oh, I got your anus. <laughs> <laughs> got your anus. <laughs> Isn't it cute? I love how we all laugh. <laughs> oh, the tail is separate. <laughs> show the picture? Thing. Yes. Oh, that's pretty. Uh, look at that. That is so that pretty. Is mm. I don't know if you want to put together your cat. I'll leave the cat in. Okay. This will stay here so we don't lose it. Mm -hmm. Naku's opening up his. You can't see it with all the... <laughs> with all the other stuff. Yeah. Here. But... I'm holding my camera. Oh, come on. Oh. Oh. oh, who's that? Oh, Saturn? Is that Saturn? Saturn? Yeah. Or is that Pluto? No, I think this one's Saturn. It has the brown bow. Oh, yeah. Yeah, this one's Saturn. Nice. We'll my least favorite scout. Let's show the... That one's pretty. Yes, it is. I will have to say though, I think your the uh, Sailor Uranus one is really pretty. I think that one's prettier. I think the cards are better. <laughs> <laughs> it just might be me. Alrighty, so that is our blind box haul. So I hope you guys enjoyed that. It's a <laughs> ten minute <laughs> clip. All right, see you guys later. Alrighty, so we're back home. He well, is figuring out how to reassemble a firearm. We just finished walking the dog out, and we're just gonna hang out. We may play some rock band or whatnot, but I did buy some alcohol, so we are going to have some alcoholic beverages tonight um, because it's Friday and I don't work tomorrow, so yay. I didn't work today either. I actually got the day off, so yes. But uh, yeah, I was gonna give you guys a haul of the stuff that I purchased. But I will do that tomorrow because I'm a little lazy to do it right now. And I want to show you guys the cute doggo. And his little bump on his nose. Yeah. Do you feel self-conscious about your little bump? <laughs> also, his breath really stinks. But I'm going to hang out for the rest of the night with my friend who is still trying to figure out how to We're assemble. We're going to see Freebird. <laughs> and have some alcoholic beverages. So that is the game plan. Good morning. It is Saturday. As promised, I am going to do my little mini haul that I got from Miso. I think that's how you pronounce it. I could be wrong. So you guys saw the little cute blind box earlier. So I'm not going to show you guys that. The other thing I got is this really cute canvas type uh, purse. I decided to get one because it's super cute and it is small. So for a quick Hanging out, going out, running errands. This would be really cute to use. And then I got two little Naruto blind box. They're upside down. This is actually for my friend uh, Christmas presents because we're doing small Christmas presents this year. Not too many. And then I got these two cute little bows. I originally was going to wear them, but they did not look good with my outfit. So... I decided to exonate them, but I love, I love them. They're so cute. I love bows. Uh, I know I sound like a child and I probably look like a child with bows, but you know what? I don't care because I love bows. But that was pretty much my little miso haul. Um, we didn't get much at the Asian market, so I won't show you guys that. But that is my small mini haul that I got at miso. So we're going to head out to go get some coffee. There's the... There's the hubby, the there's boys. the friend, and here's my other friend. So we're going to do that, and then we're going to go to a used game store, bookstore, and then where else? Oh, the collector's mart. So we're going to go there. So that is Jeff. Apparently his name is Jeff, um, but that is the plan for today.
back. Yeah, I'll tell you when I take off and get back. All right. Okay. Bye bye. bye. Recording. <laughs> yeah. See at the pose real quick. Go ahead. Our friend is gone. We all accompanied our friend. So yeah, but now he's gone. Sad day. Hopefully he visits again. Alrighty, so we're back home from the airport. It definitely was very bittersweet to watch our friend go home. Like, it's nice to have friends visiting for sure, and you don't want them to leave, but you know they have to, so it really sucks. But I did promise that I was going to give you guys another haul of the things that I purchased while being out with our friend. First place we went to was Bookman's, so we got quite a few things there. So I got the manual guide for harvest moon tree of tranquility i love harvest moon as you guys know i do collect harvest moon games and i'm putting this with my collection i have already two of these strategy guides so i'm collecting some here and there they're quite expensive by the way this was uh 15 bucks so yeah then the next item i got was the legend of zelda ocarina of time with the manual i have been looking for this version of ocarina of time there is the gray version for the um super nintendo but i wanted the gold version to match my majora's mask so i have this set complete and i'm super happy about it so the rest of the stuff in here are my husband's so i'm not going to show that but i did get one more item at bookman and this was a very large item it is also very very heavy and it is this oh my goodness harry potter film vault set oh it is so gorgeous i love the spine and look at these covers they're absolutely beautiful i love them oh my goodness and i have not actually pulled these out to look at them at all i, I don't know if i even can because like they're really hard to like pull like take out look how pretty that is oh my goodness I'm sad that there's a little mark here, but that is okay. I think someone tried to take this out like I did and I accidentally poked a hole in it. So, yes, but that is okay. It is so gorgeous. I love it. So, that is what I got at Bookman's. Next, we went to a collector's mart, which had a lot of anime figures in there. And as well as Gunpla, which is like a Gundam type Thing where you built figures so yeah I'm not into that but my husband and his friends are so that's why we went but I love the figures and they were actually doing a moving sale so everything in the store was like 50% off so all these figures were so cheap I ended up having a total of $113 that went down to 50 so that was amazing I love that so the first thing I got was this Sailor Moon figure i actually have the other version of this they had two different versions come out which had technically there's four of these figures i only have two of them but yeah so i got this one it is so pretty i love it i usually don't take it out of the box but yeah then the next figure i got was this tigger figure it's because it reminds us of tigger our dog so we like to collect tigger items so this is a collector's edition that is flocked. And then the next figure I got was a Urza figure from Fairy Tale. I love Fairy Tale. I haven't finished the show yet or the anime yet, so I need to, but love this. I don't have a Fairy Tale figure, so I had to get one. Up, oh, up, oh, they're back. They're back from their walk. Look at here! Oh, he wants his water. Anyways, the last item I got was Panther Lily from Fairy Tale. This is a Funko Pop. I have a ton of Fairy Tale Funko Pops, but I don't have like an actual figure, which is why I wanted the Urza one. But I love Panther Lily. He's one of my favorite characters. I do have one more figure in here, but that is for our friend for his Christmas gift, and I don't want to spoil it for him. So just in case he watches my video, I'm not gonna show you guys. But that is pretty much my haul. I got all that. I'm not going to show off my husband's haul because he got Just quite... Just do it. <laughs> well, this clip is going to be so long. You got so many things. So many things. I'll show you the really cool one. 
I'm not a superhero fan, but he got this Wonder Woman um, figure. It is so pretty. Oh, look at that. And he got it for half off too, so it's really nice. But yeah, so that is pretty much all the things that I got and a few or one item that I showed that my husband got. But that is pretty much all of the stuff that I got. It is a nice haul. We did spend quite a bit of money, but um, I don't think I'm going to be spending a, any more money for the rest of, well, I wouldn't say the rest of the year, but buying uh, extravagant gifts for the rest of the year. I think I have a few more items to get for my friend for Christmas, but besides that, I'm pretty much done with getting a lot of stuff. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the haul, and I'll talk to you guys a little bit later. Editing Jemmy here. So I don't have an outro for this vlog. I originally did, but I deleted it, and I can't recover it. And the reason why I deleted it in the first place was because I was originally going to add my Christmas vlog to this vlog. But then when I did that, it was an hour and a half long. And it was too late for me to recover my deleted file for my outro for this vlog. So, you're getting a crappy webcam video, so I do apologize. Thus meaning you are going to get two really old filmed vlogs. Originally that was supposed to go up in December, but then December got super busy. And then we all know what happened in January, so I'm not going to rehash that. But yeah. So that's why you're getting this version of Jemmy, the really <laughs> uh, disheveled looking Jemmy. So yeah, this is how I look whenever I edit. So enjoy. But I did want to say I am ending the vlog here, obviously. And I hope you guys did enjoy the video. If you guys did, feel free to give it a like. And if you guys are interested in seeing more videos from me, feel free to subscribe. You don't have to. I get y'all. It's all good. And I will see you guys in my next vlog, which is going to be my Christmas vlog that is coming out late. So, <laughs> yeah.